Hello, daughter. I will be filming today, so could you not be a butthole? Okay, thanks. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Why is it every time I turn on my camera, somebody walks by my window? <laughs> Hey, hello, and welcome back. Actually, no, there will be no intro today. <laughs> you know why. So, if you guys haven't noticed, I got a new microphone. Wow. Rocks. <clears throat> I'm hoping it'll help block out some of the extra audio, like from my neighbor across the street when he decides to mow his lawn for four continuous hours. If I was retired, I would probably mow my lawn all day. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, he would probably think that what I do with my spare time is also a little strange. I'm in a weird headspace today. <laughs> Anywho, I wanted to show you guys what I got for Poe. It's not related at all to this video or anything we're doing today. That makes a lot of sense. But it came in this little baggie and it's just so cute. Look it. It's a little grooming brush for her. Like a glove. Maybe I'll keep this thing for myself. I would like to point out though that I am not the one that bought her her very own drinking fountain. That was her father. Maybe we spoil her a little too much. <laughs> what can I say? I'm going for cat mom of the year. All right, well, that's enough tomfoolery for the day. So, what are we making? We are making pie crust. Pie crust, you said? Yes, pie crust. Why are we making pie crust? Because it only has three ingredients in it and a lot of people still f it up. Pie crust is all about technique. Technique is how your pie crust won't suck. By the end of this video, you will know how to make perfect pie crust every single time. This will be a two-part video. In the first video, I will teach you how to make the pie dough. In the second video, I will teach you what you can make with said pie dough. The mailman, everybody. Thank you, mailmanus interruptus. <laughs> All right, that's enough dicking around. Let's go to the kitchen. The first thing you need is butter. For the love of cheese, do not use fake butter. <laughs> I pretty much always use salted butter. I don't even know why unsalted butter is a thing. Because if you don't use salted butter, then you just have to add salt to it. So it's like, why not just, yeah, just use salted butter, okay? You will need a food processor for this. Why? I just realized my mic wasn't on. Uh, maybe I'll just voice over this part. <laughs> Enter voiceover, Jade. So first, you're going to take a bajillion years to unwrap the butter. Yep, just, yep, 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 keep going. Yes, okay, and now you're gonna cut it up into some little pieces. Yep, about that size, okay. So you're just gonna keep on cutting up the butter into, I don't know, like 27 pieces? <laughs> well, that sounds oddly specific, Jade. Did you just make that up? You'll never know. And now you're gonna take your butter and you're gonna put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And no, I will not show you the inside of my freezer because nobody needs to see that. And next, you're gonna take your flour and you're gonna gracefully spill it all over the place. Yep, that's great. Damn it, Jade. And then you're gonna fill a cup with some ice water and set it to the side. And now you take your food processor and you're gonna wanna use this attachment or whatever the equivalent might be and you're gonna dump in all of your flour. All right, now that your butter is nice and chilled, and you're gonna pose awkwardly with the butter. You're gonna put in about one fourth of it into the food processor, and you're gonna pulse it three times. 
and you'll do that until you've used up all of the butter. Yeah, let's go ahead and just speed this up. Okay, and this is exactly what it should look like. You should still see some big chunks of butter in there. And now you're gonna take your ice water and you're gonna add one tablespoon at a time and you're gonna pulse in between each tablespoon and you're only gonna add between three to five tablespoons of water and you'll pulse three to five times between each tablespoon of water. And you'll just do this until it starts to come together but just barely. And this is exactly what it should look like right now. It should look and have the consistency of wet sand. It should still be crumbly. And now you're gonna lay out some plastic wrap and you're gonna dump all of your crust mixture on top. And you're gonna try really, really hard not to let the attachment fall out. And it's gonna fall out anyways. Very graceful. Okay, so now you're going to use the edges of the plastic wrap to try and form the pie crust mixture into a mound. <laughs> okay, and you'll keep doing this until it starts to come together and form a more solid mass. The trick is not to use your bare hands too much because you do not want to accidentally melt the butter. For the record, I don't normally condone the use of single-use plastic wrap, but I have it specifically for pie dough. So this is what it looks like right now. This is how it should look. You should see a marbling effect with some larger pieces of butter that are still visible. That's what you're looking for. So now you're gonna wrap it up in that same plastic wrap. Ta-da! And you're gonna put it in the fridge. And then you're gonna pose awkwardly for the camera. Yep. Okay, that's enough. And then you're gonna clean up your mess. New microphone, yeah! So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just gonna rest in the fridge until you're ready to use it. You do wanna let it sit out at room temp for about 15 minutes or so before you try rolling it out. And it will be crumbly, and that's okay. It's a good thing. That means you didn't overwork the pie dough. If you overwork the pie dough, it won't have the texture that you're looking for. It won't be flaky. That's why I use the technique with the plastic wrap where I really don't touch it very much, especially with bare hands because your bare hands have heat in them. Anywho, this was fun. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. The neighbors are walking by. I'm just pretending like I'm not doing anything weird in my kitchen. How's it going? I'm the worst sloucher ever. <sighs> Let's just restart. <laughs> you will need a food processor for this method. It's the only way to get the butter to be the sizes. <sighs> you will need a food processor for this. It is the only way to get the butter into those little itty bitty pieces that you need it to just... <laughs> you will need a food processor for this. <laughs> New microphone! I, it just got really dark in here and I don't know why, so just deal with it, I guess. I have no idea what is in this package, uh, but we're about to find out. It's another, <laughs> I hate it when they do this. It's a package inside of a package. Like, why? What, why? Oh, I do know what this is. That's probably a good thing because I'm the one that paid money for it. <laughs> Ta-da. Are my ears crooked? Maybe it's just my face.